my guests here on uh, Chicago Vintage. I have a young lady with me here, and I put my notes away, but I know who she is. She's one of my favorite bar keeps in the city of Chicago from a uh, place called Honky Tonk Barbecue. Yeah. Located at the corner of 18th and Racine in Pilsen, uh, a lot of the best bands in Chicago yeah. rockabilly play there. Bailey D, Gin Palace Jesters. Yeah. All the bands you need to know. Please say hello from Scales and Tails Traveling Zoo. This is Beth Wagner. Yay! You know, I don't usually mix on the time with Scales and Tails. They're like, that's my invisible side of life. Right, exactly. The... When, when we're on TV, Willie's honky talk and is that how it works? Well, thanks. Well, you've been in this game of exotic animals for a very long time, haven't you? Yep. Uh, let's see. It's uh, since 1990. Okay. So. so now, what is it that you do with these little critters? Well, I do an educational encounter with exotic animals, and I have a beautiful collection of animals that uh, people have given me that they don't want anymore, or don't fit in or something like that. So I have all different animals. And uh, then I go to school. Today I went to the Downers Grove Public Library. Then I did a block party. And then I did a show at a graduation for a 13 year old. And then after that, I went to a little boy who was crazy about snakes. It was his sixth birthday. It was a surprise that the snakes were in this big giant bucket. You know, now, for like, most of us, a big giant bucket of snakes yeah. is amazing. Oh, okay. It's amazing. For a real animal kid, that is amazing. A real animal kid loves if you bring bugs or snakes. If somebody says that, oh, my kid's really into animals, can you bring a bunny? Then I know it's not. That's it's yeah. not an animal kid. I want the snakes. snakes. If you're coming to our house, uh, you can bring the bunnies. The we bunnies. Like, we okay. like bunnies. I picked some really cool animals to match. Uh, your guest star. Uh oh, uh oh. And she wore the perfect outfit for us. So, what do we have? Can you? So, I brought some chinchillas. And, uh, oh, no snakes. Oh, <laughs> by the way, no, no snakes. You know what? Every show is going to be a different animal and it's got to match the person. Okay. okay. And there's nobody better to drape the chinchilla than Bailey D. Don't you think? Absolutely. I, wow. You know, chinchillas you, are really interesting because, you know, they're the softest of all mammals. Wow. And that's because their each follicle has 50 hairs come out of it. It's and, be great. and here I thought my wife was the softest of all mammals. <laughs> I get, I get put, I, I'm getting breakfast in bed for that one. Now. Here's some cornflakes in a pillowcase. Boom. <laughs> Oh, I have heard it said, now, in front of a live chinchilla, I hate to talk about, you know, their skins, but I remember seeing as a kid where you could take a big piece of chinchilla and, like, run it through your wedding ring, that it would fit to a little... Oh, I believe that. And, you know, they have really, really delicate bones also. Do they? So they're very, very delicate little animals. And the ones that we see in the pet stores and in um, the fur coat industry, they're all from 12 chinchillas that a man brought back from Peru in 1928. No. And the first time that he brought them down the mountains, what ended up happening is they all died. And so we thought about it, we figured out that instead of just bringing them down the mountain really quickly, because you know there were no planes or anything like that, we took them down, it took a whole year to bring them from Peru all the way to California. And all the little chinchillas that you see are from that second set of 12 chinchillas. Good gravy. Yeah. And right now these guys are an endangered species where they live, but, you know, we'll, we're not going to lose them, I don't think, because lots of people have these pets. What is their life in the, in the wild? Are they, do they live in trees? Do they burrow into the ground? No, they, they're really tough little animals. This is a rodent that when they're born, they're fully formed. So that means that their eyes aren't closed, they have full hair, that's very unusual for a rodent. And then within three days, they don't need mother's milk. They still will drink from the mother, but actually they, what they do is they um, eat food right away. And it's a real hard scrabble life because they have to like dig around in the mountaintops and just eat like whatever roots and everything that they find. So it's not a really easy life. And here they're very delicate with weather. So if they're in too hot of weather, they don't work out. They don't, they don't make it. They don't make it so. 
by the way, these do not make, well, some people might think they make good cuts, but they live 15 years, and the bad ones live forever. <laughs> so it's not a really good tip. And they're all related. Yes. Well, well sort of. They, they all came from right. that one group. I've never heard that story. That's spectacular. Now, a lot of times when you have a, a chinchilla, though, they're really anxious animals. Yeah. You really have to work with them a lot in order to get them so that you can just sit like this. But even at the zoo, when they're at the zoo, if you reach in, they're like jumpy. A lot of people don't understand that you really have to work with an animal that's like that until they're handled well. So is their diet strictly herbivorous? Yes. And they, that's nice a $2 food. word right there. <laughs> You didn't know I knew the word herbivorous. I don't know what it means, but I know the word. Well, it's nice because they eat a pellet of food. Oh, do they? So I don't really have to think about it too much. So you go down to the, the feed, feed store, store yeah. and you get you a big old bag of Purina monkey chow or chinchilla chow. Sorry, yeah, it's Summit, Illinois. You do come to that one. Uh, it's the best one in the world. I, when that place... When that place closes, I don't know. Next time you... It's a whole era will be over. That's fantastic. One of the brothers just died. And oh. It's really sad. Well, I'm going to... Oh. Does she look good in chinchilla? No, wait, hold on. Because we said we're going to drink her in chinchilla. Oh. But you know what? Come on, let me what? see. This might sound silly, but... What is the day in the life of a chinchilla? I mean, are they up at night? Are they up in the day? Mm. Are they up... Do they actually... Oh, sleep? I never really noticed. Whenever I want him to be up. Ooh, this one's a bigger <laughs> fella. Okay. Let me just Here we go. Chinchilla hat. You know, that's worth like 6000 dollars Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Uh, wow. I, uh... I pray to God somebody's taking a picture of this because you might not believe this. I've never had a chinchilla on my head. Never, never, never. Hey, buddy. The ones that are on Jason's head and my head, they're trying to figure out what they're sitting in because it's it's neither animal, vegetable, or mineral, whatever this stuff is. Holy! I think it's pooping on my head. I hope it's pooping on my head. No, it's yeah. Oh, there you go. Daniel Boo, there it is. Fantastic. You know, you know, for the, you know, for the, for the young people out there watching, this is the reason you get into show business, is to have a wear chinchilla on your head. To wear a chinchilla on your head. Aren't you glad now I didn't bring a cougar? Uh, Next time. Yeah. I want to wear a cougar on my head. Yeah. Fantastic. She will be with us every time here on the program. And, uh, and we're going to work our way up to like some really cool animals. Some big, oh yeah. Wow. Oh, nice. And then, nice. Now look at that. Oh, it looks in the back. And then it looks like a hat in the back. Turn around. And they're so docile. They drink. They just. Chinchilla. Once you're draped in chinchilla, you're ruined for life. That's it. Once again, she's from Scales and Tails Traveling Circus. How can how can you be? One second. One more thing. Okay. I'm take a bath for you guys. Oh, I know about this. I know about this. These guys, their hair is so thick they can't take a bath in water. And they just <laughs> Baby, that's a Saturday night right there, man. <laughs> that. By the way, you guys had all this oil and grease on your fingers. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That yeah. Like clogs their hair. So. That. Look at that. It's like literally. See how much sparkling is. And chinchillas make a lovely centerpiece. <laughs> they really do. Well, once again, how can people how can people contact you? How can they get a hold of Scales and Tails? Uh, is my it? phone number is 312-719-9428. And uh, Beth, I've been practicing animal shows for a long time, so when I come to your house, I'll be perfect. Okay? Yeah. Beth Wagner, Scales and Tails.
We are live from the outer space. You are watching the Chicago Vintage Show. Yay! Take it away over in the booth there, Rico. Kill him. Kill him.